morning, my darlings. Didn't, really didn't want to start the vlog in the uh, in the car today, but um, if I don't start now, it's going to be like 1 p.m. by the time I get to chat to you. Just done reformer and actually took a few work calls in the club, so haven't had a moment to eat anything yet today. Went to the farm shop to get Charlie some salmon um, and just saw an egg mayo roll, and I thought that is a nostalgic food. <laughs> and so I've got myself an egg mayo roll which I'm going to snuffle in the car before I head home and um, a matcha latte because I've realised that well, they've stopped doing chai now for the summer now that we finally have summer um, and matcha is a little bit of effort to do at home so if I can get one when I'm out and about that is a bonus excuse me while I take my first bite mmm mmm so good. That is so nostalgic. Let me know if there are any foods that are just super nostalgic for you guys. For me, it's egg mayo. Yummy! So, what is the plan for today? For today's vlog? Um, I'm going to head home now. I'm going to do a couple of hours of gardening. So, nothing new there. And then I am um, getting my lashes and brows done tonight. So LVL lash lift, shush please. I know I don't have any electricity left. Um, my car feels the need to remind me every time I've not charged it. And then, uh, yeah, so lashes and brows this evening. And this afternoon, I'm going to head over to my lovely friend Robin's new abode. They've not moved into this new place yet, but they are renovating. I don't know if they are planning on the Instagram account that they're doing for the renovation to be public or not. I'll check for like two years. <laughs> she likes podcasts springing into action. Um, but they're doing amazing things to this beautiful farmhouse. And if they are allowing this Instagram account to be public, then I'll leave it on the screen and down below because it's amazing what they're doing to this gorgeous farmhouse and of course that means I'll get to kiss the twins so it's going to be a lovely afternoon but anyway I've been out of the house for far too long and um, sometimes that gives me a bit of anxiety because I know that I've got lots to do at the house so I'm going to get back home finish eating my egg mayo and um, we will catch up when we are back at the house so that was the most boring vlog intro of all time wasn't it I'm so sorry it'll get better I promise Hello again darlings, back home. I have literally just done what I call the shove because <laughs> there was so many bits and bobs that you could see in the background of this little vignette in the camera um, or screen in your case, just like clutter everywhere. So I've just shoved it, like not away, but just out of the camera viewpoint. So if we go whoop or whoop, <laughs> then you can see all the clutter, but ooh, that's a nice angle. Um, yeah, just so I'd let you in on that little secret. I'm gonna do a quick uh, face of makeup, but I'm not going to spend too long on it. I, to be honest, I never spend too long doing my makeup. I like products that are multitasking, good on my skin, blend easily, and make me look great, and I don't have to keep topping them up. <laughs> That's the vibe for today. I'm going to be using a lot of my Merit Beauty favorites. I adore Merit. Um, they've just got the most gorgeous product range. The ingredients that they use are really lovely. They don't clog the pores. They um, they contain ingredients which are good for the skin. They just last really well. They all blend together really beautifully. Um, and I find that for the quality of them, the price is significantly lower than other brands that I've used that are the same quality. So big fan of Merit. So happy that they are here in the UK. So I'm going to do, going to do a little, um, quick makeup look with some of my favourites from them. They have also very, very, very excitingly got a new launch, um, which I will be sharing with you imminently. So I'm going to start with my favourite that is always in my handbag, always in my travel bag. It is the min Minimalist or Mineralist. Gosh, why do I always get it confused? Minimalist Perfection Perfecting <laughs> Complexion Stick. At this time of year, I am the shade ochre sometimes i'm a little bit lighter and why it's so good not only for um what i'm about to do now which is kind of like full face but for top ups is that as you can see you can just doodle on your face and um any areas i always need to top up my schnoz and my chin i've got a blemish 
on my neck weirdly as well so you can just kind of it's like paint by numbers but it just blends in to your skin so fantastically um i am gonna use a sponge today just because <laughs> there's one in my hand So as I mentioned, they are all super, super buildable and um, Merit have very carefully worked with a list of ingredients that they will always avoid for their acne um, non-helpfulness, I don't know the correct expression, but basically ingredients will clog the pores that are in so many skincare products. Merit just completely avoid, um, they're all vegan, cruelty free and free of like silicones and nasty ingredients so you're actually getting skincare as well as wonderful makeup results this one in particular the minimalist um it doesn't crease on the skin either so if you're popping it underneath your eyes like i just did or in the corners of your nose um then it stays put and it doesn't crease all day even if you're out in the garden all day things like that so big fan of this one when I top this up in the day, I usually just end up using my finger and just blending it in to any areas that might need a top up. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my cream bronzer, which is in my everyday makeup pouch. There it is. It's got a really lovely tone to it. It's a little bit cool toned, so if you want to use it for creating a little bit of a contour, then you absolutely can. I actually over blend so that it just kind of melts in with the rest of my makeup, um, and it's more of an overall bronze than a contour, but you can see, because it's a little bit cool toned, it does actually work a little bit like a contour, should you desire. Can you see how easily that blended? Oh my goodness, you can just build it up with additional layers should you desire. This is why I love cream so much. <laughs> I feel like with these Merit products, you literally just like paint them on your face. I'm sure you could watch someone else's YouTube channel and they would do the most perfectly contoured and like precise makeup look, but I'm just keeping it real. I whack things on my face. I need them to blend together. I need them to make my skin look healthy. I need them to not have crappy ingredients in them. And that is exactly what I get with Merit. Okay, now that I am very happy with a glowing, natural, nothing too OTT um, base, let's move on to eyes. And this is where it gets very exciting because this is a brand new launch. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> just readjusting my seating position. This is a brand new launch for Merit, I believe. Literally, this is launched today, so you are the first to hear about these new single solo eyeshadows dun, 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 from Merit Beauty. So exciting. These have been so highly requested. Um, and let me tell you, the shade selection is just sensational. I mean, look at that. They are, so if you are a powder lover, you're gonna love them. If you're a cream lover, you're gonna love them. And just like everything that I've already applied to my face and so many more Merit, Merit, blah, blah, Merit favorites, <laughs> sound like a frog. Um, they blend just spectacularly well. Do you know what? I reckon these could work. Oh, wow. I was gonna find one that could be a nice blush color. It's safe to say it's not going to be that one. Um, you can see the color of them on the back. I, I'm a mushroom eye kind of gal. I do like a mushroomy, taupey shade on the eyes. And then sometimes I get a little bit creative and I go a little bit um, deeper and more color colorful. But I've got to say, the neutrals for me are the dream. The reason why I chose this one, which is very dark for me, is, look at this fabulous little brush, by the way. Um, also from Merit, very, very handy, is that I am not an eyeliner girly, but I appreciate that sometimes it does look really nice to add some definition into the lash line. So I plan on smudging this darker color into the lash line. And if you only pick up the tiniest bit of it, you can use it to create a little bit of de de definition in the eyelid crease. So formula wise, Merit have actually put calendula and chamomile into the formula of these. So it's very, very soothing. The eye area is the most delicate area on our complexion. The skin is thinner. So a soothing formula is really considerate of Merit. You can apply with your finger or the blush, as I mentioned. And because they are this creamed powder formula, it's literally impossible to mess up. So even if like me, you 
basically don't really know anything professional about makeup you just know what products your skin likes i've not primed my eyelids or anything by the way and i can already tell this is going to be such a huge favorite long lasting crease free formula so i'm literally just patting this onto the eyelid you can see it's not um it's not a really harsh shade it's very very soft very subtle you can blend it up to the brow bone that is gorgeous just such a soft wash of color Ooh, super blendable oh my gosh this is already my favorite this is the shade vachetta vachetta i'm gonna apply it with the brush as well see if that makes any difference i think you get a little bit more color payoff with the brush I think these are going to be so popular. I think these are going to be a huge hit with like the full on makeup girlies that do mega like professional and incredible looking makeup, but also the girls like me that just want just want something natural and something easy to use. And then another of the shades which is really pretty. This is called Mid Century. This could actually be an interesting blush shade. Especially as we go into autumn. I know these are eyeshadows. <laughs> they are eyeshadows, but I like sticking colorful things oh. oh my gosh that is such a nice autumnal blush color wow I love that as a blush shade, that is so pretty. And I'm also going to pop it on the eyes. So let me just show you a little close up of the consistency. It feels balmy, um, but it, you can tell that it's got some, I don't want to use the word sticky, but it's got some like grippiness to it, which is how we know that it's going to be so gorgeously long lasting. Again, just starting with my finger. Could actually be a little bit more precise using the other side of this brush. Pick up a little bit of product and try bringing it in closer to the lash line. Can you see? Oh my goodness, I am in love with this. It always looks a little bit funny without mascara, but what I've done, and again, this is an easy everyday makeup look. This is not, I'm not going for anything dramatic. I've just taken the small end of this and pressed it onto my lash line on both the top and bottom lashes and you can see it's just really beautifully added definition to my eye area but without it looking like i've got a ton of makeup on which is exactly what we want i am so intrigued by this viper shade it's like a khaki green and I've got green eyes so maybe this would be a good colour for me. This is not normally what I would do on a Wednesday afternoon but again if you don't want to go like whole hog on black eyeliner but you want a little bit of extra definition I don't want to put too much of this on today. Today is not a green eyeliner kind of day. I have to say that colour payoff is absolutely amazing. I'm literally using the lightest touch. I'm doing a little flick. I think this is officially my version of eyeliner when I just want definition but nothing too wild. So there are four um, neutral colours, two of which I have, and then there are four really wearable coloured colours. A soft grey, a soft mauve, a warm green, and a navy. Had to check that on the website. So still incredibly wearable, and I love this packaging. Sleek little pots. And then on the back, you can see the colour that it is, so you know that you're picking up the right one. Let's finish the eyes off with a swipe of my favourite Clean Lash Mascara. This is just the ultimate uh, separating out of the lashes when you just want a really, again, buildable lash look. You can get a really pretty like fine separated out lashes or you can really build it up to get hugely voluminized lashes i think it is the best and again ingredients that are nourishing the lash hairs so it's just 10 out of 10 all round merit i would love you to bring this out in brown that would be my dream come true 
Can you see how pretty that is? Just such a gorgeous, soft, natural, pretty open eye look. Amazing. I just could not love this mascara anymore. I feel like it gives me lashes that I didn't even know I had because it really elongates them. I never feel complete without my brows being done. This is the worst that they will be for a very long time because as I mentioned I am getting them tinted um, tonight and what's the word? Laminated. But for now coming to my rescue is the 1982 brow pomade. This is a gorgeous almost waxy because it holds the brow hairs so so well it delivers just a little bit of product onto them again something that you'd love to have in your handbag voluminize volumizes the brows so easy to use the sun has just come streaming through the window so i'm a little bit um blown out now but you can see that that has just added so much uh, volume and texture to my brows which is exactly what we want even if your brow hairs are being very stubborn and they don't want to go where you want them to go which mine very much are they'll be under control with the brow pomade pomade I never quite know how to pronounce it i really like this amount of definition in my eyes it's not too much i'd say it looks a little bit more bold on camera than it does irl Let's finish with the signature lip in the shade Millennial, which is just the most beautiful wearable pink shade. It is just super wearable, so easy and beautiful to wear for an everyday makeup look, which is complete, easy peasy. So as a little reminder, the new eyeshadows solo shadows they're calling them because they are just one shade i i would say that vachetta vachetta i wonder what that means this is going to be the one that i am leaning towards on an every single day basis and then mid-century when i want a little bit of extra definition along the lash line um and along the crease these are going to be my go-to's and such a heavenly formula so beautiful if you're a fan of creams then you are just gonna be right at home with these but if you're a powder lover then don't be afraid because it's almost like a creamed powder formula absolutely heavenly as a little reminder with your first purchase on merit you get the cute little bags you can keep all of your makeup products in there i also feel like this is just a cute little bag for makeup or for general use very very sweet and free shipping on orders over 40 dollars which is very very exciting and yeah okay so if you're making your first ever merit order i would say you've got to do you've got to do the solo shadow you've got to do clean lash because it's it's the best it really is the absolute best um you've got to do the little complexions because it's just so handy to have them in your handbag oh you've got to do the brow you've got to do everything it's just everything that i've tried from them i absolutely love their formulas are amazing they're so long lasting so blendable lovely ingredients and a great price point can you tell i love them i think i've made that quite clear come in here she is what do you want? Right, um, question. Yeah. So, the big festival thing, what tickets do we have? Hang on a minute. Sorry, that was Charlie barging in to discuss our social plans for next weekend. Um, but anyway, we are done. Makeup complete. I'm going to now just go and potter in the garden for 45 minutes until I need to go and um, meet Robin at their wonderful farm. So I'll leave all of the merit bits linked in the description box down below. Check them out, especially the new eyeshadows, and you will continue to see me using them, wearing them in the next million vlogs, no doubt. Oh, I still have so much tidying in this room to do, but remember I can't physically bring myself to do any tidying when it's sunny outside because I get FOMO. So let's go outside. Hopefully the sun will dry my heatless curls, so we might have a little bit of movement for our little girly catch up later. Well, it's turned warm and glorious. I don't have a huge amount of time, so I'm not gonna be really sinking my teeth into anything too big task-wise. And yesterday, Kat and I filmed gardening jobs for midsummer for a little reel on Instagram. So I did a few little jobs actually while we were filming that, which was great for multitasking. 
just checking on my little eight ball courgette not quite ready to pick um but at times like this when you just have a tiny bit of time in the garden it's good to do some deadheading and um pulling up anything that might have bolted gosh look at that fabulous dahlia just staring us in the face there how glorious oh my goodness um i do need to do a little bit of sweet pea pruning so i think i'll do that got some more lovely dahlias around here this area is looking so colorful i didn't realize that this is called a cactus type of dahlia really pretty and my prize winning i call these the daisy dahlias because they look like giant daisies they're definitely not called that but i love them are looking fabulous and i love that white one there i've seen one online which is a white one with a purple edging to the petals not dissimilar to my favorite sweet peas these ones can you see it's just got a little bit of lilac around the edge i would love a dahlia version of that but i forgot to write it down so now i don't know the name of it so if any of you guys do please let me know love how this area looks at this time of year with the anemones coming out and more prize winning blooms a few of you mentioned that um these are quite toxic to doggies so i am picking them up when i see them but there are just so many of these walnut kernels dropping oh my goodness underneath the walnut tree you literally do need to wear a hard hat look this one just fell over there because there are so many of them <laughs> my shadow with my hair in the thingy my bobs gosh so many of these have opened literally in the last 24 hours since i was last out here my favorite blooms the anemones right i'm gonna go and get a little vase of water do some sweet pea and dahlia picking Oh, what a fabulous afternoon this has become. badly today food wise so not really sure that I'm gonna have lunch today but I did have my little bath earlier so I'm just gonna make a nice little berry and banana smoothie I feel like I haven't made one of these in a while got into my savory breakfast routine but this is this is to be honest the smoothie that I would normally make myself after a gym workout it's a very big banana so this is gonna be quite a banana -y smoothie the riper they are the browner then um, the sweeter they are, which is wonderful. I thought seeing as this is my lunch smoothie, I'm gonna whack in some spinach from the garden. I don't normally add spinach, but I won't have eaten anything green today if I don't whack this in. So in it goes, some kefir, and we get the river cottage kefir. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to pop in a spoonful of Wild Nutrition. Uh, this is the Vegan Protein Superfood Blend. Good for after a workout and get your, I think it's got like the mushroom ingredients in it as well. Zeddy healthy. A spoonful of chia seeds. And then the bits that make it very yummy. These are acai pouches. I get them on a cardo um, and they are just absolutely scrumptious. Great to have in your freezer. So if you do run out of fresh berries, you can just add in a pouch and suddenly you've got an acai smoothie. Lovely. And then I'm gonna add in a spoonful of the Dalesford crunchy peanut butter wouldn't normally put the Dalesford one in my smoothie. I would 
have put a more affordable one in, but this is the only one that we've got at the moment. And a handful of fresh berries. I'm just gonna top this up with some water and let's wazz it up. Mm. Peanut butter, that is the game changer. Mm. Perfect, popped it in my little glass item so I can take it with me for my little car journey. Okay, it's only been in the heatless curl sausage for an hour really. So I doubt we'll have much movement, but let's see. Well, we've actually ended up with some really nice curl. So I'm just gonna pop in a tiny bit of hairspray, sunglasses to hold it back as much as for eye protection, and we're ready to go. My darlings I have just left Ben and Robin's beautiful farm oh my goodness so when we first went to visit it was um, like a full structural cottage and beautiful barn building um, and they have since employed an architect and they are basically redesigning the entire floor plan um, so walls are going walls are being put up in new places ceilings are going it is a huge project um, I think it's gonna be at least a year until they'll be able to move in but my goodness what a vision I would never have the vision to be able to even think what could be done I mean it was already beautiful but it's gonna be just absolutely astronomical when they are done with it um, so I'm now heading to my lash and brow appointment very slowly through the country lanes there's lots of tractors lots of combine harvesting going on um, and I'm probably gonna be 20 minutes early I have got my laptop with me so I think I'm just gonna find a little sunny spot on a bench somewhere or even just sit on the grass on the green I don't even know if there's a village shop that I could really do with like a packet of crisps or something I might see if there's somewhere I can pick up some bits and bobs don't know what they've got in this little village um but yeah it's been a really nice afternoon great to catch up with robin kiss the twins a lot and yeah next time you see me i will have beautifully tinted and permed lashes and brows of course there is the world's cutest little village shop let's see what they've got This is exciting. I have very much got the goods, as they say. Um, I didn't want to be chatting to you in the shop because it's very quiet, just myself and the shop assistant, but that is a typical English village shop, which I absolutely love. They have everything from local farm produce to locally baked cakes to the latest episode of Cotswold Life. They've got everything, everything that you need from your pasta, your risotto, your washing detergent to your nice little nibbles in case you're invited over to a friend's house and suddenly you realize you've not bought them anything. Double Devonshire and chive nibbles. Wow, that sounds delicious. I might have to have one now actually. Savory biscuits. Is there anything better in life than a savory biscuit? Oh, cheese and chive, little nutty biscuits. Oh my God. I've just realized I've got cheese in my handbag. The hotel that we stayed at in Manchester 
had these little cheese blocks on the breakfast board and I knew that these would come in handy, that at some point I would be sat there hungry and wanting to eat some cheese. So now I have cheese and biscuits. This has become the dream car picnic. Look at that. Mm. What a perfect day. I just realized I was meant to be showing you what I bought and then I got distracted by the very first thing. So they're a great success. Um, also based on having to use Dalesford peanut butter in my smoothie this morning, I grabbed a peanut butter. Um, my favorite sweet treat combo is eating chocolate and sweets at the same time. And it doesn't get more elite than Milky Way stars and Skittles, but I saw that they had Frutella. So I thought I would do Milky Way stars and Frutella. And then I just can't resist kettle crisps. So that is my village shop haul. <laughs> Let me know your favorite crisps down below. I would say these are number three after the Torres truffle ones. Don't know what my number two would be. Like a small artisan, quite thick, good quality crisp. And then these. Right, I'm gonna go and enjoy these on that bench over there in the sunshine until my appointment. Good morning my darlings, it's now Thursday morning. I'm looking very bold in the brow department. I always get them tinted and they're quite a shock for the first like 48 hours, especially when I've not got any makeup on post, um, post Pilates. But once I've got some makeup on shortly, it should all blend in. Um, oh, somebody's car alarm's going off. Today's gonna be a really fabulous day. I am gonna go home and shower now, and then I have got a little road trip over to beautiful Marlow, because wonderful Leonora is um, celebrating her birthday with a luncheon today, which is gonna be fabulous. I've been to her gorgeous home once before, and honestly, the interiors, the decor, the house, the dogs, it's all just splendid. Um, and she she is a fabulous host, a fabulous hostess. Um, so I imagine there's going to be quite a feast. Hopefully we'll be sitting outside. It's a little bit cloudy right now, um, but I think it's gonna clear up and it's gonna be a gorgeous day. And um, yeah, not sure who's gonna be there. I think it's gonna be lots of friends, a little bit of family. And yeah, can't wait, cannot wait for a gorgeous day. I have picked up a little birthday gift for her. She will already have received it by the time um, this vlog goes up, so I can tell you my go-to gift for most of my girlfriends is a Bamford signature treatment. I've said it many a time before. Um, whether So for example, we've got um, a friend who's doing us a huge favor by letting us do a photo shoot at her house in a couple of weeks. So I've got her a Bamford treatment as well. Uh, yeah, it's just a really lovely gift because I feel like in today's day and age, this corner is the worst for coming out of pothole rama <laughs> Oh, you're up there now, okay. Um, yeah, it's just a lovely gift. I think we're all super busy these days and if you have a voucher for a spa treatment, then you gotta use it. And they really are just an hour of absolute bliss. So not sponsored by Bamford, but yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, I might be going to a pub opening party later today as well, maybe. Charlie's got to decide who his plus one is gonna be. Is it gonna be me or is it going to be George? Um, it's a new pub called The Bull, and there are so many The Bulls. It's not The Bull at Charlbury, although we do love that. We've been there a couple of times now, which is a new opening from the people that have got the Pelican Hotel, sorry, pub in London. They are literally doing like UK pub takeover. Apparently they've got on their agenda to open eight more pubs this year, which is crazy. Um, like I asked you in the last vlog, if you have drizzle in your country, let me know if you have pubs in your country where you're from. I loved reading your answers. I don't. I think the only person that said they didn't have drizzle was from Southern California. 
and Morocco. Someone from Morocco said they didn't have dress all there. So yeah, let me know if you have pubs because I always think pubs are a really British thing. Um, but I would say in the Cotswolds, most of these, oh, you might go flying, two seconds. Ah, we made it. Most of these new pub openings, they're more like, because I think the clientele in the Cotswolds is obviously a lot of tourists, but a lot of locals, and we really want to support local produce, local growers, and we appreciate like really good food and the standards are pretty high with pubs and restaurants. So they're like pub interiors, but really elevated food. So you can go for a fantastic Sunday roast. You can go for like a really hearty, um, like shepherd's pie bang as a mash, but then there's also some really elevated dishes. So it's amazing because Charlie's a huge foodie. Um, Charlie is pals with a guy who used to run Soho Farmhouse and he is now running the Bull, did I even say where it is? Yeah, so this is the Bull at Burford, literally prime position on Burford High Street. Um, yeah, the guy that used to run Soho Farmhouse is now running the Bull in Burford and I think it's going to be amazing. I've heard really good things. So Charlie has been um, invited to go to the opening of that. I'm not sure if I will make it timing wise depending on how long I stay at Leonora's house. It's going to be a really sunny afternoon I think so I'm probably not going to want to be driving during the peak hours of the day so I might just like stay there and sunbathe with her sausage dogs or something. But yes, that's the plan for today. Um, nice little chatty catch up. So there we go. I can't actually turn the camera off while I'm driving so you're just stuck with me until I get to the um, <laughs> the crossroads. What else can I tell you? Um, oh, Charlie and I finished watching Wolf on TV last night, which actually the first two episodes I nearly couldn't continue because it was so scary and um, I thought I was going to have to stop. The next day after we watched episode two, I felt so, like almost depressed, I felt so low negative energy, even after a Pilates class, it really affected my mood, so I was like, I don't think I continu can continue with it, um, but luckily there was a bit of a twist in episode three, I think it's on Apple TV, there was a bit of a twist in episode three, which somehow made it less scary, um, so we were able to, I was able to power through, and now we've finished it, and I'm satisfied with the ending, kind of, a bit of a twist at the end. So yeah, let me know what you're watching, what are you enjoying? Yeah, I don't have anything else to talk to you about, so I'll just drive <laughs> in silence. Actually, no, I'm listening to a podcast. Tap into in therapy so that we can reflect on experiences. How to be your own therapist with Dr. Dr. Rangan Chatterjee. Yeah, then you get okay. this, We've reached the crossroads, so I will so see you kind of when see I am what they are. getting I ready about, for um, our remember lovely the movie, the March, luncheon. With Jim Carrey, and he kind of had Okay, hello again, my darlings. Woo! We are looking very voluminous. Oh my god. <laughs> We've got a lot of volume going on in the hair. I used um, I used a wand, the T3 wand at home, and I left the house looking like Marge Simpson with my hair pinned up and um, been driving for just over an hour. I've just pulled over five minutes from Leonora's house to make myself look a little bit more presentable. Taken all of these clips out of my hair and we have got <laughs> we've got a lot of volume so um great drive really beautiful drive you drive all the way th all the way through Adderbury through Aino through Vista and I think we are in the Chiltern Hills area of Outstanding Natural Beauty now and it is gorgeous absolutely stunning area I've gone for my <laughs> Zimmerman dress which I've only worn once so far this year, so this is its second debut. It's a gorgeous afternoon, Leonora is so lucky. I'm sure we're going to be eating outside. Uh, I've got a mint stuck in my teeth, sorry. Um, I just listened on the way here. It was really gross, so I'm not sure if I'd recommend it or not. Um, an Instagram account that I follow, which is really funny, called in Influencers in the Wild. I think the guy that runs it 
also has a podcast company and um, this podcast is Psychopedia and it's basically true crime. Actually, I don't even want to tell you what this episode was about because it was so disgusting, but it was an hour and 14 minutes long, so perfect for me to listen to on this journey. So I'm going to put her exact address into, oh, it's still nine minutes away, which means I'm going to arrive at 10 past one. My goodness. Let's hit the road, tuck my seat back in now that my hair is uncoiled and I will see you when we get there. Well, I don't know what sorcery she's performed, but her jasmine is flowering. Look at this gorgeous pergola. This was my favorite area last year. I think when I came last time it was in wisteria bloom. Oh my goodness me, <laughs> this is astronomical. I've got a feeling that Flowered did the blooms. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got a luxury by Leonora, full three course menu. My gosh, look at this place setting. This is what summer garden parties of dreams are made of. We've got some ladere at our seats. How fabulous. Here's my spot just here next to the party girl, the party queen. We've got little pink parasols. I'm going to have to get the information where they're from. Of course, we have to greet the sausages. Oh my goodness. I have this um, personality trait where sausage dogs are drawn in for kisses. <laughs> and look at this baby. Everybody's outfits just look so fabulous. I think this is Lancelot, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I've got a little itchy scratchy spot. Little itchy scratchy spot. Oh, you're good with them. Do you have I've Look at this for a selection of beverages and we've even got little herbs in sausage dog planters. Lovely, we've got some mirabeau, some lillet. This looks so glorious. And a fabulous macaron talent. My goodness, gorgeous. Here she is, darling, outfit and area. Tell us everything. Oh my goodness, well, I feel like I've blown myself away a little bit. I should. <laughs> I love it. I love this vision and I, it's been brought to life today and it is just so beautiful. Sensational. So it's truly amazing. Oh my gosh. So many of these blooms were my wedding flowers too. Did Flower do this? Flower did this. Wow, yeah. they are the absolute. We have Mason Margot, oh. that's the crockery. Everybody has a flower crown. Oh my goodness, me. We have me. G Brothers who have done our menus. Stunning. Jo loves her scent of the day. Oh, gorge. Oh, so it's just going I've to never be seen this before, the little daisy. daisy. Isn't that and stunning? It matches the cosmos <gasps> to oh my goodness, me. We've got goodie Absolutely. Bags from Breeze. <laughs> that is the largest goodie bag I've ever seen in my life. And you've oh got my all goodness, me. In there as well. How sensational. It's going to be the most gorgeous day. It is. So many beautiful Oh, ladies. so many fabulous ladies. And the dress? The dress, well, it is an Amelia Wickstead number. So it's my gorgeous. Dress. You'll be seeing yes. me wear it a hundred times. It's got to be done. So, yes. Here it is. Well, thank you for having us. Cheers, my darling. Cheers. To you, the hostess with the most nice. I really, I don't do what I'm told, I do what I want to do. Okay, my darlings, another very quick catch up after the most gorgeous afternoon at the lovely abode of Leonora. Oh my gosh, that was just such a gorgeous event. So many inspiring ladies there. So many of Leonora's friends, family members, ladies that she's worked with. It was just one of those times when you feel, you feel amazing because you're just surrounded by so many wonderful people. And I didn't want to leave. However, I am here now in Burford. I still don't know if it's the bull or the bell. There is a pub just there, 
which I'm 90% sure is the right one called the bull so I'm gonna go in and um, hopefully find Charlie I have no idea who's going to be here am I going to know anyone I am very overdressed <laughs> for a pub opening in the Cotswolds in my Zimmerman dress what a plonker wonder if I should maybe tie my hair up because I really do look far too far too overdressed for a pub launch um, but there we go one cannot help one's prior engagement okay hair's gone a little bit poodly anyway oh, I'm a bit nervous I don't know why I think it's just because I'm not walking in with Charlie or anyone okay wish me luck let's go <laughs> hotel rooms this is one of the bathrooms it is absolutely beautiful I will try and show you a few little sneak peeks mm -hmm. 